Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining me this morning. We're using the Maggards Meetup from 2019. This is Katie's Bubbles sample that Katie's uh, had, uh, had passed out. Um, so that's what we'll be using today. As you can see, we have the uh, beginning of the Ring of Death in the center there. So, um, yeah, that's what we'll use. Uh, we're also going to use the Razor Company's, I think they call this cream soda synthetic. So it's been soaking. You don't need to soak a synthetic, but uh, it's wet. Uh, Parasso Pre Shave is on the face right now. And uh, we're using our Gillette Ball and Tech. And um, this has a brand new, uh, where's the wrapper at right here? Brand new treat blade. So I'll kind of talk about the uh, treat blades a little bit in this shave. Um, something I was something I was aware of, but didn't take into account when I spoke about them last time. Because the last time I used that blade was uh, when it was brand new to me, and um, I hadn't used anyway. So we'll we'll, we'll talk about it. But uh, anyway. Let's start loading here. Hope everyone's are doing very well. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so. Like I said, hope everyone's been doing very well. It's been hectic here, but I uh, hope your life's been uh, less hectic and less uh, stressful and blah, blah, blah. So, cool. All right, uh, we'll see. This looks very sudsy. Uh, I'll probably put way too much water on the actual brush. Let's see what we can build up. I forgot the scent on this. Uh, Rudd's actually sent me this sample along with, I think he, Rudd sent me a Sudsy Soap sample. He sent me a full tub of Katie's Bubbles. Uh, it was uh, uh, Barnegat Bay. Barnegat Bay is what he sent. He sent me Mike's natural, a Mike's natural soap. He sent me the Sudsy Soapery. I think he sent me one or two more to try way back when. This was when I had first started with Chewy. I just commented on his channel one day, like, you know, it's a really good soap. Like, what do you think about it? Because it was one that he hadn't reviewed anyway. So he's like, I'll send it to you. And he sent a couple others too. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't uh, seen or heard from Jason in a while. Anyway, whenever I use a soap that he sent me, I mention him just to keep him relevant in the community. I know there's a ton of new guys that have started since since uh, around 2020 when Rudd's uh, kind of petered out. I don't know what happened. And, and um, anyway, but look, look at the lather. It's a beautiful lather. It really, really is. This is not the uh, this is the premium base for Katie's bubbles or or the luxury base whatever they call it it's it's the more expensive of the two bases it's a it's the creamish as a it's the crope as opposed to the soap I think that's how they differentiate it it's a much more silky um, lather in my opinion the other lather from Katie's works perfectly well uh, perfectly fine as well um, no issue with that either. Katie's is a, a company that, in my opinion, doesn't get enough love. You know? They've been around in the wet shaving community since most of the beginning companies. Uh, Chris Cullen. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't really know. I don't see too many videos of people posting using his, you know, Katie's Bubbles uh, uh, soaps. Um, anyway, I don't know. But, uh, good company. Great company. All right. So this blade. Let's uh, let's talk about that a little bit. I gotta get this mop shaved tomorrow. Not shaved, but but uh, cut. Um, not very nice. Smooth. It's a little less sharp, um, but not in a bad way. Like I would, I would compare it uh, somewhat to a, to a Voskhod, Voskhod blade, um, but but maybe slightly 
less sharp than a bus guy. You know, the, these treats, this is the tin pack itself. Um, this is the second that I've used of the tin pack, but uh, yeah, I would say it's, I would say it's slightly less sharp or aggressive or, or it's a little milder, a little bit more mild than uh, the uh, bus guy blades. Um, and it's not a bad thing, at least for my skin, it, it, it's actually kind of beneficial, I think, because it slices the growth pretty efficiently, but it's also not like super, you're not taking off a whole bunch of layers of skin. Um, but To each their own. I know when I first used this blade, I was told um, by two different guys that they don't use these uh, uncoated blades because they rust very easy. And sure enough, the next morning that I got up and looked at the blade after I read that comment, rust all over that son of a gun. Now, I didn't clean it. I didn't. Uh, I mean, I, I rinsed it off. So my typical thing with with um, with DEs when I'm done, I'll take off the top cap. I'll take the blade out. I'll rinse the blade both sides, just under water. I'm rinsing it both sides, and then I will sit it, making sure not to put any edge on a surface. I will just sit it on my little cap over here. I have a couple of uh, a couple of bombs that I have over here just sitting. I'll just set it on top of one of the caps, making sure again I don't nick the edge or anything like that. I set it on there pretty gently. Um, and that's how I kind of, so I, I looked at it and I was like, dang, that thing has like a ton of rust on it overnight. Um, so anyway, what I'll have, to, what I'm going to try with this one is I'm going to not only, I've never, I've never dried my blades before. Like I've never rinsed them off and then dried the DE, but I'm going to try that today. I'm gonna try that as soon as I get done shaving with this this morning. I'm going to uh, rinse it off. I'm gonna like blow on it as much as I can. And if there's any little spots left, I have some tissue back here. And I'm just gonna kinda like dab, you know, the tissue, make sure it's 100% dry. And then tomorrow morning when I get up, I wanna check it again and see where it's at. And if there's still a whole bunch of rust, well, I know I've done my part in trying to reduce that. And at that point, these blades will just be a one use for me because I'm not, <clears throat> as far as the edge, the edge did not look like it had any rust on it um, of the actual razor blade or the DE blade. But um, I don't know. I just, I'm not going to use, so I'm not going to use a DE with, with any rust on it. I don't care if it's just around where the port where the, where the hole is, you know, I don't care where it's at. I'm just not going to use it. Um, it's probably safe to use, but just not something I'm going to use because I have so many other blades. I'm not trying to <laughs> give myself tetanus, so. It is tetanus, right? Is it tetanus from, I think it's tetanus. Or you get your tetanus shot, and I think that's for, like, stepping on rusty nails, that type of thing. I think it is tetanus, yeah. As you can see, very, very nice cream. Um, little piece of foam is floating around. This is my, uh, so this is my second tub of Katie's. This is my only tub of Katie's bubbles that um, I'm gonna empty out the sink here. My only tub of Katie's bubbles, that's this luxury or premium um, base. Sounds like my tub has, uh, my, my sink has the bubble guts. Um, but yeah, the, the other two bases, I, I do prefer this base, if I'm being quite honest. I do feel like this is one of the cases where 
This base is a little better. Um, but anyway. The other base works perfectly fine too, don't get me wrong. Chris Cullen did comment on a video a while back um, when I did use the soap last and, and he did give me the scent. Uh, the scent's very nice. It's not just a normal soap base. It is a nice scent. I just don't remember what the scent is. So, yeah. Whew, the sink is full of hair. Yeah, we'll do one more pass. Past couple of shaves, I've only done two passes, but I had the time this morning. Oh. Yeah, we definitely need to touch up oh, around the chin for sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, what's all I'm gonna do is squeeze the knot, get the rest of that lather. We'll just do kind of like a, a chin slash. Uh, neck touch up my cheeks are I mean I can go against the grain to get a hundred percent of it but um, the cross the, the width and then across the growth uh, gets I'd say probably 90 to 95 percent of it um, so we'll just kind of worry about the chin and stuff you know this scent is kind of it's hard to put my finger on it specifically it's kind of I feel like there's a little, like a, a musky note or, or, or undertone or, or something like that. It is a very pleasant scent. Um, I need to go back and probably look and see what he said uh, regarding the scent. And maybe, maybe grab another tub of it in the premium base. Because in 2019, his premium base may have been different than his premium base now. I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I just need to, need to go check that out. There's so many artisans, new and and old, that I just need to go and, and revisit and you know. So if you didn't know, my, my chin strap area, basically, this entire section right here grows from left to right. So all the hairs are like like this. So me coming, me coming from my right to my left actually is against the growth for my chin. My cheeks grow straight down until about here, both sides. My lips are normal. My lip kind of, my lip hair kind of goes down. Um, um, my soul, uh, is this soul patch, soul patch, right? I think. Flavor saver, soul patch, whatever. That grows normal, that grows down. It's just this chin strap area that's like, no, nah, we're not gonna cooperate, we're just gonna grow this way. And then my, my neck grows like up and over on this side and then up and over on this side. So I've gotta like kinda, it's it's weird. <clears throat> my, my, my hair is kinda weird. Yeah, really good fights on this weekend. I don't know if I'll do a video or not. There's, there's um, there was some controversy on the last UFC, in the last UFC, Sean O'Malley, Peter Yan, that whole fight. Um, I don't know. In my opinion, Peter definitely won, and I've watched it three times. Uh, well, the night of, and then twice after. You know, a lot of people are saying 
kill on one due to damage and this and that, but like, is it really like? I don't know. Oh. I feel like Peter. Peter won. Um. My opinion. I don't know. I don't know what else to say other than that. To be quite honest with you. Feels good, feels good. Slight bit of irritation right here. Oh, let me see. Oh. Yeah, definitely some irritation. Right here. Hmm. From what though? It's bumps. So it was there prior to the shave. I just couldn't see it under the growth, I guess. Anyway, it'll be all right. We'll be okay. We'll survive. I needed to shave. That was uh, that was a uh, a day and a half of growth. Uh, yeah, day and a half of growth. Almost two days of growth. All right, we're gonna put on some Old Spice after shave. This is Old Spice original, the good stuff, the old stuff, not the new stuff that you buy off the shelves now. Scent is very, very pleasant. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. That's the shave. Appreciate you guys watching. My lips are already dry. I don't want to put alcohol on them and let that dry. That's gonna be even worse, but uh, yeah, guys. So the Star Maggards Meetup from 2019 and uh, Katie's Bubbles. So, and look, we have enough lather, I think. Yeah, Pro probably for another uh, neck pass, I'm assuming. But uh, look at that lather, look at that. That's nice, that's a nice lather. And we're not talking about super airy or foamy. That's, that's a decent, that's a decent lather, so. All right, appreciate you watching. <laughs> See you next time.